this. This is my favorite keyboard, the Logitech G915. It's a peanut buttery, greasy, nasty mess, and the goal today is to bring it back to life. Greetings and welcome to Dreamin' Digital. If you remember this noise, then you've earned your stripes and I'd like to welcome you home. This channel is all about tech, desktop setup, camera gear, home lab, you know, all the good stuff. If you're into it, go ahead and slap that like button silly and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this project together. Don't get me wrong, I love those fancy mechanical keyboards as much as the next guy, but the fact is I like the layout on the Logitech. I like the clickiness of the switches and I love that I can edit and do my creative work comfortably. I have big bear paws and these little 65% keyboards just aren't cutting it. It's taking my carpal tunnel into full-blown arthritis. That sounded dramatic. So what's wrong with it? Well, a couple weeks ago, I noticed it wasn't holding a charge. I had to plug it in almost every day. Using my advanced research and detective skills, I came to the conclusion that it needs a new battery. Also, the keycaps are just a nasty, greasy mess. I suffer from chronic greasy fingers. So the goal today is to show you how to replace the battery and the keycaps all in one sitting. I bought the replacement battery and keycap puller on Amazon and I found a set of keycaps on AliExpress for half the price that Amazon had them for. And I figure it's gonna be the same thing since the picture is literally identical. Shouldn't be too hard. Grab yourself a hot coffee and let's get to it. All right, there are a few things I need to touch on. First off, having to peel off the important information sticker just to reach the screws for the battery, that's just poor design. Ugh. I did stick it back on, but now it's all 
nasty and crinkled and I can't unsee it. On a lighter note, the battery swap was super easy and it worked perfectly. I'm just glad I won't have to charge this thing daily anymore. Replacing all the keycaps was a bit time consuming, but also satisfying once it was all said and done. I just removed them all and put them in the order of where they go. Uh, I probably should have just printed out a schematic. I suppose that's another way you could do it. <laughs> I wanted to do it the hard way. <laughs> I didn't realize a keyboard could get so nasty though. As you can see, the keyboard was filthy. I tried cleaning it with alcohol first and it wasn't working. So I tried the electronic wipes and these did the trick which surprised me since I thought alcohol was like the universal cleanser. Overall, it wasn't a difficult process and now my keyboard looks better than it did since these new keycaps have a badass matte black look to them. They also have good transparency on the letters, symbols, and numbers, which of course allows the RGB to shine right through. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a greasy mess by the end of the week, but it's nice to admire the fruits of my labor for now. <laughs> I'm glad I took the leap of faith and refreshed this keyboard instead of just setting my money on fire and buying a new one. That's the whole point to all of this, right? To find solutions to problems without having to shell out too many doll hairs. If you enjoyed this fun little project, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel so we can grow together. Make sure to smash your keyboard with the like button. And ring the bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks for watching my friends. Take care.